Hello there, it's Ina here, and welcome to my art room. So I've been busy painting up a storm, trying my hand at abstract art. Now I'm an absolute beginner, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm having fun. Now abstract art is a huge subject, and there are many different opinions out there about its origin, about its value, about its place in the art world. And of course, then there are so many different types of abstract arts. There are, of course, paintings like I do. Then there are sculptures and many other things people create. And then again, you have the type of abstract art which still represents something related to reality. You can recognize the landscape or the houses or the flowers, even though the shape and the colors might have been changed. And then there are other art pieces which seem to represent just a random collection of lines and form and textures and so on. So trying to really discuss abstract art is not what I have planned as first of all I'm not an expert, second of all it's way too big of a subject. But I did want to give you just a few of my thoughts and what got me interested into trying my hand at doing this. So in order to do so and for you not to get bored looking at my hands, I prepared a little slideshow and I will talk while that is going on. Of course, I have to switch to voiceover. So here we go. Now the first picture you see is the way I worked on the canvas, but I'm giving you different angles as it's really up to you, the viewer, to decide which way you like it best. Now I used acrylic paints on pretty much all of these, but I also used some other mediums. So the captions will tell you what that may be as well as what tools I use to make these. I have always been interested in abstract art and I always wanted to understand it a bit more. Now, do I like all of abstract art? No, there are definitely pieces which are just not my thing, which I don't find attractive or they just don't speak to me. And I think that's pretty common and normal with any type of art form. Anyway, I was always questioning the reason why artists switch over to abstract art because most started with the more realistic looking paintings and some of them are rather accomplished and could paint reality pretty flawlessly. So what was the attraction? Because even today abstract art is still a very controversial art form and many people will tell you that you're wasting your time and wasting your paint. Now part of that questioning comes from the idea that abstract art is just easier it seems that you don't need formal training, you don't need to know everything there is to know about perspective and proportion and so on. And that may be true, but is abstract art easy? Is it easy to do? Not really. It's a lot harder than you may think. When I decided to try my hand at it, I of course looked for some inspiration. I watched many videos, I read some articles, I picked up some basic tools, and I borrowed some ideas from other artists until I can develop my own style. But it wasn't easy. It doesn't come easy. I think it's because our mind is so geared wanting to see concrete images, wanting to see meaning in whatever we create, which is like a barrier and it's not easy to overcome. But with practice, of course, everything gets better and I just have so much fun with it. It is rather nice to move away from reality and the concrete images and just trying to maybe um, portray rather a feeling, an atmosphere, a uh, moment, whatever you want to call it. And I think However well that is done is a key to how viewers uh, react to abstract art. If they can tune in to whatever the artist was thinking or feeling, then they probably really like that piece of art. And of course, the opposite is true too. If you see a piece which just not attractive to you or you can't relate to, well, it's probably because you're not on the same wavelengths as the artist. 
And that's perfectly fine and maybe sometimes a good thing. Okay, I better not get too deep here. To sum it up, I think abstract art is a very fun art form. It's very expressive. It's very creative. And there is just no limit to what you can do. A wonderful way to play with colors and textures and lines. No boundaries, no strict rules. What's not to like? So this brings me to the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed the slideshow and you didn't mind my chit chat in a way. Uh, these three pieces here are definitely some of my favorite of the whole lot. Uh, I would love to hear from you which ones you enjoyed or if you are even into abstract art. I will definitely continue my journey into this art form. Now how much of this will find its way into my channel, I don't know. Uh, we'll just have to see. But no worries, I love mixed media. I will continue to work in that medium and somewhere it is a little bit related, isn't it? So this one actually found its way into my channel big time because part of this is my new channel banner. So that's it for today. I'm gonna go now. I hope to hear from you and see you real soon again. Bye bye for now.